Hi everyone, my name is Kathleen Holko and I am an educator at the Bruce Museum. I am so pleased to bring to you today Digital Bruce Beginnings, a program for children ages three to five and their caregivers. Today's theme is This Old House. We will visit one of the museum's online exhibitions, read a book about a little girl who lives in an old house and has a great adventure, and then talk about some interactive play and activities that you and your adult can do together to stretch your minds and your imaginations. I hope you enjoy today's program. Let's get started. Before you watch the rest of this video, I encourage you and your adult to pause it and visit the museum's online exhibition for House on the Hill, The Changing Face of the Bruce Museum at www.houseonthehillexhibition.com. On this website, you can learn more about how the building that the Bruce Museum is in has changed over time. Did you know that before the Bruce Museum was a museum, it was somebody's home? And on the first page of this website, you can look at pictures and read about two of the people who lived in the Bruce Museum's building when it was a home. Reverend Dr. Francis Lister Hawks and Robert Bruce. The Bruce Museum is named after Robert Bruce. He was the last person to live in the building as a home before it became a museum. So pause this video, look at the pictures on the first page, and maybe make up some stories about when Mr. Bruce lived in the Bruce Museum. What type of adventures do you think he could have gotten into? I'll see you back here in just a moment. Now that we've visited one of the museum's online exhibitions, how about we take some time to read a book about a little girl who lives in an old house and gets into a lot of interesting adventures. Today, we are going to read Madeline by Ludwig Bemelmans. In an old house in Paris that was covered with vines, lived 12 little girls in two straight lines. In two straight lines, they broke their bread and brushed their teeth and went to bed. They smiled at the good and frowned at the bad. And sometimes they were very sad. They left the house at half past nine in two straight lines. In rain or shine. The smallest one was Madeline. She was not afraid of mice, she loved winter, snow, and ice. To the tiger in the zoo, Madeline just said, poo, poo. And nobody knew so well how to frighten Miss Clavel. In the middle of the night, Miss Clavel turned on her light and said, something is not right. Little Madeline sat in bed, 
She cried and cried. Her eyes were red. And as soon after Dr. Cohn came, he rushed out to the phone and dialed. Danton 10-6. Nurse, he said, it's an appendix. Everybody had to cry. Not a single eye was dry. Madeline was in his arm in a blanket, safe and warm. In a car in a red light, they drove out into the night. Madeline woke up two hours later in a room with flowers. Madeline soon ate and drank. On her bed, there was a crank and a crack on the ceiling that had the habit of sometimes looking like a rabbit. Outside were burrs, trees, and sky, and so ten days passed quickly by. One nice morning, Miss Clavel said, isn't this a fine? day to visit Madeline. Visitors from two to four read a sign outside her door. Tiptoeing with solemn face with some flowers and a vase. In they walk and then said, ah, when they saw the toys and candy and the dollhouse from Papa. But the biggest surprise by far on her stomach was a scar. Goodbye, they said, we'll come again. And the little girls left in the rain. They went home and broke their bread, brushed their teeth, and went to bed. In the middle of the night, Miss Clavel turned out the light and said, something is not right. And afraid of a disaster, Miss Clavel ran fast and faster. And she said, please children do tell me what is troubling you? And all the little girls cried, Boo-hoo! We want to have our appendix out, too! Good night, little girls. Thank the Lord you are well. And now go to sleep, said Miss Clavel. And she turned out the light and closed the door. And that's all there is. There isn't any more. Oh, no. Poor Madeline. She had to go to the hospital. Have you or your adult ever had to go to the doctor or the hospital? How did that make you feel? Nervous? Sad? Were you maybe a little excited? Pause the video and discuss with your adult. I'll see you back here in just a moment. Now that we've had some time to visit one of the museum's online exhibitions and read a book about a little girl who lives in an old house and gets into an interesting adventure, why don't we get up, stretch our legs, and our minds, and our imaginations? First, I always think it's really interesting to think about the people who lived in my home or my neighborhood before me. What kind of adventures did they get into? I bet my home could tell some really interesting stories about those people. Why don't you and your adult take a few minutes and use your imagination to think about who might have lived in your home before you or your neighborhood? Maybe your adult knows a little bit about who lived there before. Might be fun to think about. One of the things I love about the book Madeline is that most of Madeline's adventure is illustrated in three colors, 
white, yellow, and black. If you could pick three colors to illustrate your story or one of your adventures, what colors would you choose? Take a few minutes to think about it. And then, if you have the right supplies, like paper and a crayon, maybe you could illustrate your story in those three colors. What adventure from your life would you focus on? Thank you for joining me today for Digital Bruce Beginnings. I hope some of you would be interested in sharing some of the things you create or do after watching this video. If so, and with your adult's permission, please feel free to share it on social media with hashtag Bruce Museum. Thank you again, friends. Bye.